All right, I don't want you to stop even before you start. Now my biggest letdown, honestly, when I see a lot of people come through the doors, we get to keep a good chunk of them, but a chunk of people, they just kind of vanish, right? And it makes me sad because I know how much everybody can benefit by just coming to Fit Club, by just working out, being the environment, having the coaches as your cheerleaders, and how that can optimize and make your life so much better. And so when people stop before they even start, a lot of times they think that they need to get in some kind of crazy good condition or they have to have the perfect position in their life in order for them to make the commitment to their fitness. And we also have to understand that the hardest things in life usually are the most beneficial things in life. We have to be our own cheerleader. We have to be our number one fan. And you gotta give yourself one more day. And last but not least, be your biggest supporter. Now going back to this video and why it sparked is that I've had some people come through and they're my age and they're people that I've gone to school with and I was really motivated because most of the people that come and work out with us, I never grew up with, right? When people that are starting to come work out with me and we're all about the same age, I know that the breaking point being at this age of where you can really take your life and your health and your fitness, it explodes by just making that commitment to being the best version of yourself. And one of the simplest ways that you can reward yourself and give yourself some type of positive perspective is by taking care of yourself and doing a workout. Now I'm biased to Fit Club because I know this is the environment that I built for you, but I would recommend if you're not coming to Fit Club, at the very least commit to any sort of gym so that you can work out. Unfortunately, if you're from Winnipeg, it's not really possible 365 days of the year to do exercise outdoors. If you're a runner, nobody's running out when it's pouring rain or nobody's running when it's like super slippery or lots of snow. So we need to bring these activities indoors. So my recommendation for you, if you're not coming to Fit Club, is that you do a workout. And so when I was thinking about some of the friends that came into the gym, and one of the things that some of these friends said is that the workouts were too much for them that they need to start on their own and then they might come back and I'm yet to see this, right? Most people, when they say that they're gonna go out on their own, maybe they go and register for a gym membership somewhere that's like 15 bucks and then they go on the treadmill for like 10 minutes, they lose all motivation, they keep that membership active for a year and then they cancel after a year and they've only gone once or twice. So that makes me a little bit sad because I know after this age that it's either you're going up in life or you're going extremely down. And so we have to understand, and we probably all have kids at this point, that anything worthwhile is gonna be difficult. And I always think about my kids. And imagine if we told the kids that they can't do it, right? Like you're like, you can't talk, you can't walk, you can't read, you can't write. And we're like, don't even try because it's too hard. You need to go and like figure it out on your own. Never mind school, just go out onto the streets. Like you would not do that to your kids as they're growing up. And so why wouldn't we allow ourselves to do that when it comes to taking care of our own health and well-being? What we should be telling ourselves and what we should be telling our kids is that we want you to try. Continue to try. It's gonna be difficult, but in the end, it's going to be worthwhile. I also wanna tell you that we have to be our biggest cheerleader, motivator, and coach. Yes, you can hire the best motivators, coaches, and cheerleaders, but we need to start telling ourselves that we're going to try before we say that we can't. If you continue to keep the perspective positive in your mindset, you're always gonna move forward and you're always gonna see a positive outcome. No matter what the outcome is, you might not be perfect. You might never be perfect, but at least you're trying. And when you try, Always just tell yourself, I'm gonna give it one more day. I'm gonna give it one more workout or I'm gonna give it one more week. Because one more workout, one more day, one more week, one more month turns into one year, which turns into a decade and it spirals and it continues to go forward and forward. But always tell yourself one more time. I'm Coach RJ guys. I hope that this motivated you and inspired you to make this a lifelong journey of fitness and health. And I'm gonna be here for you, so we'll see you on the next video.